Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Apocalypse in our Final Federation series. We are about to get our Federation. It's going to happen. Uh, we are very close to the Ultor Committee, literally close to them. Uh, we are minus two acceptance away from getting the Federation with them. I've been talking to a few people over the past few days uh, in the comments about uh, these folks up here, and I want to clarify something for folks just because I, I mentioned it in the comments, but in case you didn't see that, um, we've been talking for episode after episode about this particular modifier, War Philosophy Forbids Wars of Aggression minus 50. And then a few people, you know, just playing devil's advocate and thinking, well, what if it's being misinterpreted? Because sometimes the tooltips in Paradox games can be kind of backwards. Um, what if you actually can, what if, what if they're saying your policy is too aggressive? Uh, well, first of all, I don't think that's what it's saying, but the, um, defensive wars policy, I actually did switch to that in kind of a test yesterday, and uh, it didn't do anything. So, um, just wanted to run that by everybody in case you were curious. So, let's see. Trappist Secundus is ready for some upgrades. I'll go ahead and upgrade that. Uh, oh, we don't have that many minerals, do we? We do not indeed. So we need to focus on, um, I guess, taking the Mithar system as soon as we can, which shouldn't be a problem. And then we will be able to ship upgrades applied. Federate with the old tour. Construction completed. Which is really going to be a game changer in a lot of ways. Let's see. You're in Arctic world. You are a uh, desert world, and I can't recall. Did I queue up? We have colony ship heading to the Arctic world. Do I have one building for the other world yet? No, I don't. Imdar two. We'll get to that. We need to wait for influence. 29, well, just under, uh, so, yeah, just under 30, so 29 point, 29 and change, let's say that. Right, we can go ahead and do these building upgrades while we are waiting for that system. Research concluded. Ooh, energy grid. Um, yeah, that's probably a good idea. And then we have proton launchers now. Very, very nice. Better sensors are probably... The next best thing, but shield capacitor would be a good tech to go ahead and have, given that we haven't researched it already. Sayakaro Prime needs some of its basic upgrades taken care of. So we continue to accelerate upward very rapidly. Let's also check very quickly at the beginning of this episode, because there has been some discussion on the comments, or in the comments as well. You need to auto-explore, dude. Um, let's check the... Spiritual faction. Yeah, they don't have as much influence anymore. They're up to 17% um, support. Uh, but they have a ton of population that are on board with with their message. And we are currently suppressing them so that they don't cause too much trouble. But they are quite unhappy. And then the Knights of the Void, they this faction wants us to be more militarist. So we could suppress them too at the cost of influence, but um, I don't have the influence right now to really suppress two factions. I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. I'm going to take a quick look around though and see if there's any other, see if there are any other stations that I can build. Yeah, we can go ahead and build those in Oswiri. And then why don't you build the ones in Sele There's actually a number of places, but I need to get this station built before anything else. And then we're going to federate and things are going to change. We might, as I mentioned last episode, we might also be able to convince these guys that, that haven't federated with us yet to federate with us. If at all possible. Um, given that we paid. are going to be launching a federate non-aggression pact invitation from the Andagonch Hive. Okay. Where's the Andagonch Hive again? Why don't you like up here? Andagonj, 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 Andagonj. Where are you? Oh, they're oh, staring me in the face. Good lord. I thought they were smaller than that. Alright, so these guys are hive minds. Um, we're not... Uh, we might be able to federate with them, but I don't know if you can federate with a hive mind. I, something is telling me you can't. Also, we might be able to take on that dimensional horror before too much longer. And also, don't we have... Is it... We've got the life tree protectors, which we need to deal with. But yeah, there's also the automated dreadnought. And I am remembering right now that the first fleet, which needs reinforcement. I need to send them up to take care of the life tree protectors. But I might send the second fleet in to do that. We also need a leader for you, don't we? So let's go ahead and give you... 
Yeah, I like better sublight speed. Sir Benjamin Montgomery. <laughs> All right. Sir Benjamin Montgomery is the admiral of that fleet now. I was not expecting a name like that. Holy crap, that's funny. All right, let's uh, build a starbase in Midar and move towards that Federation. Bruin Singularity is done with its initial upgrades. What else can I do here? Naval Logistics Office for the Naval Capacity Upgrade. Yep. Yes, please. Construction completed. Yeah, we're trying... We need to reinforce this fleet as well as soon as we have the minerals for it. Again, part of that thinking is to make sure that these guys don't think they're so much better than us. Yeah, right now we're equivalent to them again, which is good. That's what we want to see. And... completed. There it is. So... Now that we have that, let me first... <laughs> this little, like... <laughs> this appendage of our empire just like extending out like a finger like eh, I'm almost there oh my god that's funny All right, so we need to add to the Abskyki sector for the Betria sector no it's Abskyki oh yeah I forgot we'd already brought those planets in wasn't sure what I was looking at for a second okay so you can well you can do a whole lot of nothing because we don't quite have enough for that, but I'll tell you what, let's build those, let's get that research station built, and then go build that mining station, then we'll do more with you in a second. Now we can build up influence for a bit uh, to get the unspent civic points, but let's, uh, first and foremost, what? What are you talking about? We're not distant from you anymore. Recalculate. I bet, she's just, I bet it just hadn't recalculated. Guys! Alright, hang on. Hang on, we can, we can, we can fix this. Let me give them copious amounts of gold. Energy credits, I mean. Same thing. Confirm. Accept my money. Federate with me. <laughs> this will increase their trust of us by 1.33 each month, up to a maximum of 150. It will cost us zero influence each month. Confirm. And with that... A federation for the betterment of all. The Condine Compact. Do we rename that? I kind of want to rename that. Because I don't know what Condine even means. But I'm decently proud of my vocabulary. Uh, I'm okay with Compact. What was the one in the original Federation series called? You know what? I'll leave it for now because I've got to check. But um, in between episodes, I will take a quick look. Or maybe I have it in an episode title. Hang on. If I've got it in an episode title. Then... Do-do-do-do-do. My thinking is if I've, if I've got it in an episode title, I can just look at the playlist from Federation right now and get that question answered rather than having to wait all the way till the next episode. So give, give me just a second and we can knock this out. There it is. Yeah, I love that name. Much better. The Celestial Alliance. How about them apples? All right, so we are currently the Federation president. And we can go to the Federation ship designer and start making awesome looking ships um, as we so wish. Um, we would have to design them using our, you know, right now we'd, we'd have to go in and, and do a whole lot of new designing. I don't know that I'm going to mess around with it like right now, this episode. Um, but that is something that I didn't do in the previous Federation series. And I want to make sure I do a better job this time. But now that we have a Federation going, what I'm curious about is if we can... They won't associate with the old tour committee. Interesting. Okay, so what about the Zulukako? I guess because these guys were fighting, they might not want to either. Hmm. Alright, so we've got a federation going, but we might not have too much 
in the way of uh, of buddies yet. Let's check with the uh, free Convisam. Wow. No one likes the old tour committee. Why not? What's wrong with them? They're federation builders. They're an executive committee. They're pacifists. They're fanatic materialists. What's your problem, people? Is it because they're ugly? That's what it is, isn't it? Completed. It's because they're ugly. You conceited bastards. Trade deal duration expired. Our trade treaty with the Copenjaxi Trade Union has timed out. All right, so... Well, that's interesting. Be curious to see how we can continue. I really thought that would go the other way, but... Oh, well. Association says, nope. Not interested. Oh, the Ultra Committee doesn't want the Copenjaxi involved. What is even... Okay, well... We're going to have to mess around with these factions to a certain extent. I doubt that there's anyone in the galaxy that is willing... Wow, yeah, everybody hates each other. Everybody hates each other. What about the commonality? Yeah, they won't associate with the old tour committee. Why not? What's the... I mean, these guys are Federation builders. What's the old... I'm trying to figure it out. Weird. Okay. Well, that's not not the best start to the Celestial Alliance. I feel like the the start to the one in the original Federation series was better. Right, research agreement with the Free Commissar Commissariat for fifteen years. Sure. And we don't have enough minerals to build everything. As far as, or we, we don't have enough influence to build what we need to within our territory, or outside of our territory, but we can add all of these stations within our territory. And we do still need to add the Hoa system as well, so <laughs> sounds funny to say. Uh, let's move you here, because eventually we'll be adding that. And then the Propus system, yeah, we're mostly adding those. Get those mining stations and those research stations. Good! We are being hailed. What do we got? Federation Association request. Really? From the Lock-In Mechanists. They would like to cooperate more closely with the Celestial Alliance. Okay, so it turns out there is somebody. And we do have a good relationship with them um, so far. We have a migration treaty. Alright, so now they are... Yeah, they want to associate... That's so strange. I, I don't get it. It says they won't associate with the old tour, but they just did. So maybe that's a good sign that they'll be interested, that, that other empires will become interested in the same way, even Colony if we can't make them interested. Has begun. I don't know. All right, so we need to go ahead and pay a visit to these guys. We've been planning that forever in a day. You guys are not quite strong enough yet, though, to take them on. So why don't we send the first fleet instead? Straight up to... The Life Tree Protectors, and we are... Okay, concluded. good. We're not going to go through any other territory. All right. Do we have any? No, we don't. Damn. I really need to find where we have some... Zro. Auto Curating Vault will help with monthly unity. I probably am going to go ahead and research that. Psionic Army, I know we need it. We need it, but you know we need more? More unity faster, so that we can ascend faster than the other species. That's my plan. All right, so we have one associated empire. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that they would be so... Completed. Why? Why do you hate them so much? Tell me your secrets. I don't understand. I mean, hang on, maybe... I'll bet you there's a way. Here I am complaining about it. Or, I'm not really complaining, I'm just being ridiculous, but... Maybe there's a way if we go to So they like the fact that I'm a democracy. They just don't like the, the border friction. It's so strange. 
and they don't like the restriction on wars of aggression. They don't like the fact that I'm a pacifist. So I'm guessing it's pacifism. Completed. That's my best guess right now. For the same reason they won't associate with us in a federation. That, that's that's got to be it. Well, fine then, is what I say to that. Be that way. See if I care. Research concluded. Which research would that be? Also, I need to build an alien zoo there. All right, that's almost done clearing, and we're done otherwise. Good. Shield, com shield capacitor is done. Zero point reactor. Mm. We've got a lot of extra energy. You know what we could probably do with that? Trade it for minerals from someone else. <laughs> Either that or we could um, significantly increase our mineral income. Let's go ahead and go for the zero point reactor because I'm intrigued by what other technologies we might unlock if we pursue that. We need to upgrade that in just a second. Let's go back up to speed three. Meanwhile, the first fleet is going to be on its way. You'll see it traveling while we're up here in this view. Knowledge is the key to the universe. What do we get? Cruiser build speed? Nice. We still don't have robots, which is weird. I think one of our factions might actually, if we start going for a better synthetic... Which, which one? The Association of Technological Progress, or is that what it's called? Techn te technological Mastery? They're already pretty happy. They're not giving us any influence, but... Maybe if we turn that into a yellow dot as opposed to a red dot by researching robots, they'd be a little happier. I'm going to do the mining network upgrade first. Just because I want... Well... Mm, yeah, I want the minerals first. Because we have been doing so well with speeding up... Let me go ahead and queue up a colony here as well. Wait, don't quite, don't quite have the minerals for it, but I will in about three seconds. Boom. Colonize from... So, habitability here. Send Vivisandia. Let's just look at it this way. We've got a number of different species. Yeah, the Vivisandia could colonize this world very effectively. Let's go ahead and give them one. Not the best spot because it suppresses food on that planet, but that's okay. Now, part of me just wants to chill out on taking territory for a bit, but I think I might want to go ahead and claim all of this. Also, there's this system over here that I just mentioned a moment ago, which I would benefit from adding in just a second, actually. Oh, I hate when that happens. They really need to change that. The autosave dialogue popping up and taking away a menu that you've got pulled up is really frustrating. All right, so the Galactic Polysimus Empire. Let's take a quick look at them. Slaving despots. I don't know. I mean, they're friendly with us right now. They're materialist. They're authoritarian. They're militarist. They could be... They're calling us noble. At least they're being nice to us. You know what? Sure. I mean, we could use a little bit of extra help right now. Plus, I'm pretty sure... Hang on, let me check the policies now that we're finally making use of them. Unity output is increased by 5% per member of our federation up to a maximum of 30%. So, we only have one other federation member, but that did boost our unity. We're 50 months away from another unity policy as a result of that. I'm not sure how close we completed. were before, but we're closer now. Construction completed. Yeah, see, I, I kind of want to take, like, Neshmet, and th there's a lot of colonizable worlds in here. All right, good. So the Andagonj Hive, let's check with them really quickly since they're not at... Yeah, they're not remotely interested. Okie doke. As you wish. Q Wesley falling down a long hillside. Uh, Imdar. Mining station. Research station. Construction completed. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and build that mining station and those research stations and also the Skyki sector, which is a pretty big sector at this point. As a matter of fact, does this need to be a new sector? I think I was talking about making this a new sector as opposed to adding it to Skyki. 
So I may well do that now that I have room for an additional governor, which I do, right? Yeah, I do. So let's go ahead, since Rebek is now a colony, let's create a new sector, starting with Rebek. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, gotcha. We're going to add this to a new sector. That way we can have a different governor there, which might be useful, it might not, we'll see. And I think we have a colony ship already on the way to that colony, right? Yep, the Visandia colony ship. Yes, this Obskyke station. We've already got the off-world trading company built here. I guess, I mean, I kind of just want to build, like, more trading hubs here. I could eventually upgrade it to the point where it would be, where it would have a few weapons on it. We could build defense platforms around it, but I like the idea of just cranking out a little bit extra energy. We already are doing that. Speaking of that, that reminds me. Let's talk to our buddies. Let's make sure that we're getting all of our possible deals. Yep, let's get our research boost. We would like to purchase this service. Let's also become curators, or patrons, for 5,000 energy. It's ridiculous, but at least that got taken care of. Because we have that much energy. Also, since I have that much energy, let's talk to the... Mudagon about trading for minerals. Hmm. I'll just leave it at that. That's all. Now we're getting a little bit more mineral income per completed. month. Okay, good. We have some uh, old tour coming to help us out with this planet. And I guess. I mean, we honestly might benefit from a little extra food here. What do we got? Sector's missing resources? That's easily fixed. Or is it? Hang on. A special project has concluded. Good. We got a Ute artifact. Been working on those for a while. Need to give a leader to the new sector. Construction completed. Okay, let's lower the taxes on the new new sector till it's more established, but we can give them a governor. Oh, hello. We have got an intellectual governor, which I probably need to go ahead and add. So tell you what. So the core sector is going to be governed by... Well, the core sector is currently putting out more unity. The Oskaiki sector could benefit from a research boost, though, because there's a ton of planets in there. Right, so you're moving to Revik, which is good. So I could use you, and yeah, we just need a little bit more energy. Cabroxy. So we're gonna have a uh, a lock governor from the Lock and Mechanists. Multi-species empire continues to be multi-species. Love it. Yeah, we just have to build some... We've just got stations System to build here and then things will be better. Completed. Speaking of building things, let's reinforce our fleet. We are still waiting for the first fleet to get up to these guys. Construction Once we completed. have gateways, it's going to be a lot easier to move through our territory, and gateways are amazing, completed. as I've told you guys a couple times. They are so much fun. Right, Governor Caproxy has leveled up. Registered. Any other science ships that are just dicking around like you? Frickin Construction complete. Auto explore, man. I need you to be discovering things for me. That's the entire reason you exist. Certainly not to make anyone else happy, that's for certain. Alright, so that trading hub is being built. And then we could build. Eh. A deep space black site would improve, yeah, improving governing assets attraction um, there. I don't know how far out that goes, but that might help with some of the faction issues we've been seeing. All right, so amazingly, while conducting their survey of 91F411, the crew of the NSS Drake picked up several life signs coming from within the asteroid. There appears to be a colony of large, burrowing, worm-like lithovores within the rock, which has been riddled with tunnels. These unique life forms have somehow adapted to a life in the coldness of space. These creatures should be studied. Yes, they should be. We're going to need to build, to add that soon, completed. but we can't just yet. 
I need to build up to where I have enough civic points to improve the government. So we might need to... That's the other thing with everything we got going on right now, especially trying to suppress that faction. I need to keep expanding, but it's eating up my influence. And it's not allowing it to build up. I can't do edicts. I can't do anything fun. Okay, where... All right, there you are. First of all, let me go ahead and queue up another reinforcement for that fleet that's needed. That will reduce our income slightly when we have both of our fleets up to full strength. But it'll make other empires less likely to mess with me. So I don't think the life tree is here. I think it's already been investigated by other... There we go. Yeah, so there's the debris, but I... Yeah, I, I really don't think it's here. So where that's... There was a science ship right here. Come get that research project. You just go home. And then we have an election happening. Right now, Eyes of Silver is ruling from Earth. There are a couple of really good governors. If we manage to get some uh, psychic leader, that would be awesome. So um, I'll be curious to see who gets elected in the next little bit. Is there a system that's more worth adding at the moment? I feel like there is. Also, I need to finish exploring out this direction, don't I? Tell you what, let's go ahead and add Unatra. And we are 27 minutes in this episode, aren't we? Holy crap. Never, ever, ever ceases to amaze Construction me. Construction completed. Okay, so we've got those research stations built. And let's go ahead and upgrade that. What else are we looking at? We're set. Okay, so next episode I'm probably going to focus a little bit on building some Federation starships just because I can, and for some reason I have to. But uh, let's also take a quick look before we end here at the... There we go, situation lock. The Ute, we're still looking for some of their artifacts. The alien specimen procurement, uh, a number of these are still available. Um, I can stop tracking... Oh wait, no, that, that one's available. There are a lot of these things that are being tracked, so let me stop tracking that stuff. And we may very well be able to do more with that, with our science ships. I'll have to take a look in the beginning of the next episode, because that would help a lot with society research. But one thing I might also do in the next episode is, serious, I might chill out on the influence. I might let influence build up for an episode so that we can reform our government with the, that unspent civic point. That could be very, very helpful to us. And we also have some additional genetic modification to do that I haven't done yet. And I will queue that up at the start of the next one, most likely. Which would be useful for... It would be a useful combination of things to be going after all those society projects. All of the... Um, what we were just looking at with the alien specimen, specimen procurement. That would help boost, I believe, the... Progress on the... Um, genetic modification because they are that's a social project that's a society research project that the society researcher works on specifically that Liang Wan would work on but we also probably want to wait 28 months or so before we do that with him because we want to make sure we have that unity boost as well lots to do thanks for watching if you enjoyed this one don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along new episodes right now are coming out every other day at 4 p.m eastern time just for a few days here over this weekend if you're watching in the backlog doesn't matter sci-fi stuff is usually every day 4 p.m eastern time comments are always welcome let me know what you think and i will see you next time